Well, would you take the COVID-19 vaccine when it becomes available? Vaccine trials will actually be starting here in Houston this month, and researchers are hopeful. ABC 13's Roxy Bustamante with more on what you need to know. Roxy? So right here in Houston, hundreds of people have already signed up for those trials, but I'm told they need hundreds of more volunteers to help move this trial forward. It's a very important thing for our society right now for us to move past this pandemic. Dr. Vicki Miller with Texas Center for Drug Development says she's hopeful researchers will be able to develop a vaccine for COVID-19 by early next year. We've received a few trials that we are starting up right away and some of them in July uh, for human trials, but these have already gone through the early phase one safety trials. So we're working on the phase two and three trials that happened before these vaccines go onto the market. Miller says they are looking for more volunteers from the Houston area to sign up for the trials and help in their search for a vaccine. That's the best way and that's the best way for somebody to protect themselves and their family and their community is to get the vaccine. Because if everyone were to wait until every, most almost everyone gets COVID-19, then we'd be looking at about a million deaths in the United States, and we want to avoid that. And today, clinical trials underway at UT Health in Houston investigating how plasma from a COVID-19 survivor can help lessen the severity of the illness and decrease the number of patients being hospitalized. People who are infected with COVID-19 develop a robust antibody response. And when individuals donate their blood, plasma, which is rich in these antibodies, can then be given to patients who are fighting the disease or, in, as in this trial, potentially prevent the disease from happening. Dr. Bella Patel says it's important for people to get involved when they can and help researchers in the fight against COVID-19. We know thousands of people in the Houston area have developed COVID-19, but it's really important to then uh, then donate to the community to make sure that your neighbor, your family, your colleague can actually get plasma whenever they need it. Roxy Bustamante, ABC 13 Eyewitness